हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू आई एम होम्योपैथ एंड आवर टुडेज टॉपिक इज स्टडी ऑफ नैट्रम ग्रुप एट द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो आई विल आल्सो बी आंसरिंग टू द क्वेश्चन दैट आई एम बीइंग फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्क्ड एंड एज अ स्टूडेंट मेनी पीपल फेस दिस प्रॉब्लम एंड दैट इज हाउ टू रिमेंबर ऑल द रेमेडीज ऑल टूगेदर एंड स्पेशली वेन यू आर न्यू विद द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ मटेरिया मेडिका सो वॉच द वीडियो टिल द वेरी एंड and let's start with our today's topic first is doctrine of signature doctrine of signature is basically the resemblance between the medicinal substance and any part or organ of human body having therapeutic relationship so that the same medicinal substance can be used for the treatment of diseases of that particular organ so in case of natrum group first is salt occurs in the crystalline form by bonding of sodium and chloride with each other mentally people are bound to their grief and brood grief is intense sorrow and brooding is thinking deeply again and again about the grief and being in that depressed kind of state all the time physically stagnation in organs and fluid represented by choking throughout the complaints physically stagnation in organs and fluid means there is no movement or no flow of natural fluids that's why it is represented by choking throughout the complaint salt adds life to food when it blends with it mentally an optimist natrum personality finds life tasteful is cheerful and creative being optimist means hopeful and confident about the future so such a person of natrum personality finds life tasteful just the way salt adds life to the food and this optimistic natrum personality is always cheerful and creative physically this complaint or this doctrine of signature is represented by the craving for salt third is the sea produces waves from which the salt is obtained mentally oscillations of emotions occur from cheerfulness and weepiness so mentally just the way the sea produces waves the patient of natrum group also forms oscillations that means his emotions or his mental state oscillates between the two opposite states that are cheerfulness and weepiness at times he is too much cheerful and at times he is weepy so this kind of change is here called as oscillations of emotions physically the pains increase and decrease rhythmically fourth is the tides dependent on the moon show a periodic increase and decrease the sun too affects the sea tides means the alternate rising and falling of sea as we all know that the moon cycle and also the sun has great effect on the sea just the same way in the natrum personality the mental symptoms are aggravated by sun and moon and there are mood swings and bipolar bipolarity is there two extremities of emotions is seen here that is being called as bipolar physically the aggravation is periodic at same time same hour on alternate days the sea being deep hides all it owns in its depth appearing calm and clear from the exterior whatever the sea owns that it hides deep inside it and from above it appears to be calm and clear just the same way mentally the natrum patient buries his deep grief suppresses all his grief and puts a calm exterior so these doctrine of signatures help us study the common features that the natrum group possesses now the next is list of important remedies of natrum group natrum is also spelled as n a t r u m so it is natrium also and natrum also don't get confused by the spelling over here natrum muraticum natrum arsenicum natrum carbonicum natrum phosphoricum natrum sulfuricum natrum nitricum natrum salicylicum natrum iodatum 
natrium lacticum natrium nitrosum natrium selenicum natrium telluricum natrium silicatum and borax and there are also few other remedies which are less frequently used now the characteristic features of natrium group constitution lean thin emaciated pale short and anemic so this is how the basic appearance of the natrium group patient is that his his appearance is lean thin emaciated as if abnormally thin or weak pale short and anemic then temperament melancholic and bilious melancholy is depressed kind of temperament and bilious means the temperament that has tendency to the disorders related to the liver these kind of patients are hyper excitable persons thermal relationship chilly worse from sun and warmth diathesis rheumatic and gouty diathesis diathesis is the tendency to suffer from particular medical conditions so here the natrium group has tendency to suffer particularly from rheumatic diseases and gouty conditions miasmatic background psychotic and tubercular tubercular is sora plus syphilis also called as pseudo sora sphere of action chiefly on git mucous membranes lymphatic system connective tissue skin bones and nutrition so here it ends the first part of our natrium group study the rest of the points that are characteristic physical features and characteristic mental features we will be covering in the part 2 and as i have said earlier there is one question that i am being frequently asked is how to remember all the remedies of materia medica especially when it appears to be all same when you are new with the subject of materia medica well the answer is the best way of studying and knowing multiple remedies in a few time in the easiest way is to study the various groups of materia medica by this method you will know all the basic things of that particular group so as to write any remedy from that group in exams almost effortlessly because studying all the remedies one by one is quite time consuming being a student but this group study will help you know a lot of remedies in no time and to help you do this i have created the playlist containing all the group study videos and the best way of studying and using this playlist to have the maximum benefit out of it is to listen to it frequently whenever you get free time you don't need to always open the book and study it reading it for hours you will definitely see the results you will know that majority of the remedies you already know just try this out and after some days of this practice do come back here to this video and write your experience and whether this was useful to you or not in the comment section below so that you will inspire many others to do the same if you also have any questions regarding study you can use the comment section below or just simply dm me on insta as i am quite active on instagram nowadays i have put my instagram id in the description box below as well in case you don't know but majority of you guys already follow me on insta and at the end if you like this video hit the thumbs up and comment me down below to let me know your feedback subscribe to the channel if you are new here